Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Kean, back at it again with another video uh, from the Sports Scoop. We got uh, Zach here today. It's just me and him. And today we are interviewing Stefan Marbury, uh, the second. You guys may know his dad. He was a point guard in the NBA for the Knicks, uh, Suns, Timberwolves, and Nets. Uh, also, Stefan's a very good basketball player, uh, freshman on varsity. And if you guys follow Slam at all, you may have seen him and his dad on one of their covers. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zach, Zach, props to Zach. Zach got him on the show. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to let Zach kind of run it from here. Stefan, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Just chilling, working out, doing yeah. my own thing. How you guys been doing? Good, good. I'm pretty all good, right. pretty good. Zach, it's, it's all you from here, bro. All right. So, um, before we start, I just want to say that we'll link uh, Steph's Instagram in the description below. Mm -hmm. Just because he's, uh, thank you for coming on the show in the first yeah, no place. Problem, no problem. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, bro. Yeah, subscribe, yeah. subscribe. This is gonna be the next big <laughs> basketball sports yeah. channel on YouTube. That's what we're going for. That's what yeah. we're going for. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. So, as you may know, I mean, I just no one really knows, but me and Steph go to the same school. <laughs> um, but uh, so as uh, as Keen said before, Steph was a vars. Uh, you were a uh, freshman on varsity. Right. Um. Would you would, do you think you would consider yourself a leader on that team? Yeah, of course. Even though I was a freshman, of course there's going to be seniors, juniors, sophomores. I definitely would would consider myself as a leader because I'm someone that knows the game pretty well, and I'm able to spread my knowledge, and I have talent, so I'm able to really put that into one and just be a good team leader. I completely agree. Honestly, when I when I went to the games, I thought you were one of the best players there, if not the best player. Um, so. As you might know, our school that we go to may not be the best basketball school because our varsity team was very bad other than you. Right. Um, so would you consider any other schools other than the school we go to for basketball? I mean, of course I would, but at this moment, I re really don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm just trying to keep my options open. Like, a lot of schools have asked me to come, like, for interest. And just that right now, I can't really answer this question where I'm going to end up for mm -hmm. the next three years of my career of high school. Yeah. All right. I hope that wherever you choose, it becomes it is the, the best for you. And, um, you know, it goes well, you know. Um, so uh, so I know with your dad being like one of the best players, on a very good player in the NBA, a star mm -hmm. in the NBA. Um, so what is it like being trained by him? Like, how, how is that like? Like, how is it? I mean, ever since I was a kid, it was kind of like always tough love. Like, it's always like he's trying to help but sometimes he can be hard on me because he only wants me to be great and he wants me to be better than him so I mean being trained by him is really fun like we get to like it's like sometimes joke around get in the gym for a while and it's like a really good way to connect with my father so it's fun being yeah. in the gym with him I, I have something to add if y'all don't mind um I feel like yeah, as your dad's an NBA player, I feel like all um, NBA players who have sons that are at, at such a high level as you in, in basketball. Like, I know th this might not be a great comparison, but, like, Bronny James, uh, right. Shaquille O'Neal's son, right. Sharif. Like, all mm -hmm. of those kids, if you ever watch videos of them training together, they their dad told them at such a high level and really, as you said, give them tough love. So what's it – do you know your dad's just trying to push you and does it, does it ever get hard and you want to give up? Um, I mean, at times there are times when I doubt myself, but there's not really a time when I want to give up because I know I'm capable of bringing my game to the next level because I can see it in myself. And if there's a lot of people around me that are helping me keep my head on tight and just saying like, you know, I know it can be hard sometimes. I know you can be frustrated, like, and feel like you're not going anywhere with this, but like you have the talent and you have the ethic, like you have everything you need. You just have to keep going, but size that is great so yeah Zach what do you got so um other than your dad do you have any others like significant NBA role models or just role models in your life who like uh, help you push forward uh Nate Robinson Carlos Boozer uh Steven Jackson uh Kevin Durant who else mm, uh Al Harrington he played a while back who else could I talk about? But those are kind of like the people that are really at the top of my head that I really know and I'm able to talk to in case I need anybody to talk to. So I have another quick question. Wait, so so 
how long were you like how long were you alive until your dad retired did retired from the nba like how long were you alive when you were able to see his games and even met meet nba players that you look up to well i was kind of i want to say he retired the last team like you guys may have known he the last team he played for was the boston celtics in mm-hmm. the 2008 to 2009 season but after that he ended up going to china but i was oh, probably man. like what is that five years like yeah. barely so it was like yeah, yeah yeah i don't i don't really remember too much yeah. of like going to like the Knicks experience and like going to the games but like mm. yeah that was like kind of like the age where i like stopped seeing him play playing in the yeah game. i know what you mean yeah all right Zach. all right so um so i know as you look down the road um you might have some goals for like being in the nba right um but before that, you know, there comes college. So mm-hmm. I was wondering if, um, if you did not somehow get any um, offers, mm-hmm. would there be any colleges you might be more inclined to go to? Uh, definitely. If I do see myself getting a lot of offers, but if I wouldn't, then it would yeah, probably I would kind of see myself like more of like Syracuse or like Georgia Tech because it's like my dad knows some people there, but I don't think we're ever going to get in that situation. Yeah. And I think yeah, Syracuse yeah, is, is still a very, very a decent basketball school. Yeah. Have you gotten any offers yet, or are you not allowed to say? Uh, or any, like, scouts, like, talking to you, or are you not allowed to say? Not really. Kind of, like, not too many, but there okay. have been, like, some colleges that have been, like, interested since I was younger. So. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I mean, but you're just a freshman, so you can't expect yeah. that much yet. Right, but you probably right, will. Right, right. Yeah. All right, so um, uh, moving on a little bit more. Uh, in the NBA, would there be any specific teams that you would like to play for? Uh, I feel like like I was never really to answer this question before because I was always like, you know, like I'll play for any team, like I'll play anywhere, and like of course I will. But like if I had to like really be in a specific place, it would probably be Miami or Los Angeles because yeah. those are like two places where it's like you know laid back, mm-hmm. like it's always nice, like the weather's always nice all year round. So those are kind yeah. of like the two places I'll probably really want to play. Yeah, I think I, that would definitely be the same for me. I think, the, yeah, like, those are – Los Angeles, Miami, like, the beaches, like, kind of mm-hmm. just the influencers there, even, like, the just amount of people there that, like, you can connect with. I think it's definitely a good place to go play. And their fan bases are incredible as well. Right. All right, so um, I'm assuming you've played for some AAU teams before. Mm-hmm. Correct? Am I correct? Um, right. So uh, would you mind naming any of the teams you played for? Played for Riverside Hawks, Gauchos, uh, Metro Flyers, uh, Sports U. That team is currently merged with Rio, Team Rio and Sports U. And now they have, like, some team, um, Gauchos, uh, BSNY. That was kind of like a little small team that we had put together, like the BSNY. And, yeah. But I'm hoping to play with, like, more in the Nike circuit, like, in the upcoming yeah. years. Because, like, as we all know, like, the Nike circuit, that's where, like, a lot of scouts and a lot of, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. people that are looking at, like, that's where, like, the top league where people are being looked at for high school. Yeah. So, um, if, when you make it to the NBA, not if, when, um, <sighs> well, do you have any, like, specific goals that you want to accomplish? Like, do you want to be, like, an MVP or do you want to, like, how many points a game? Or, sorry, I mean, to be weird. honest with you, like, I try to think about, like, I want to be an all-time great. Like, I want to be, like, something more than my dad because, like, my dad never got to win a championship or, like, the MVP. And, like, I want to be able to, like, experience that and be able to really, like, have that because I know my dad always talks about, like, he always tries to push me so hard because, like, he wants to see me accomplish that. And that's something that I really feel like I can do. Like, I really want to be an all-time great. Like, I don't really look at, like, right now – I'm not getting recruited as high. So I'm not really looking at it right now. I'm looking more of like at the end goal. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's what I feel. Oh, another quick question. I know this is very mm-hmm. unlikely, but um, there is always a chance that this could happen. So if you didn't make the NBA, what would mm-hmm. you do? Uh, you know what the funny thing is? Uh, I've been told that I'm a really good actor because like my dad was like doing like a lot of movies and stuff like at the time and like they were doing bringing me and my sister in just in case like they wanted to put some scenes in and they were told like yeah you know like your your son has like but they told my dad like yeah your son has like a lot of potential to really be an actor and so when I thought about that I was like oh wow and like acting is cool because it's like 
you can see like how you range as an actor like in different categories and genres of movies so like i think that would be something yeah. I, would say. I remember my question so as i think i know you're a point guard now right right now your position if mm-hmm. you were to so i know your dad's six three uh, mm-hmm. maybe um yeah six three six three if you were um but i think either zach or, or chris told me that mm-hmm. your mom is also pretty tall like five yeah, 10 mom, or 11. yeah my mom is like i don't think 10. i told them that yeah I I, chris did chris did i remember um so if mm-hmm. you were to some for some reason grow to like six six or, or six four right. five would you uh potentially want to switch to shooting guard or maybe a small forward role uh, mm-hmm. Or do you think that would just be so much of a change that it would kind of degrade your either scouting or mm-hmm. or uh, other other high school teams? Well, I feel like with height, like there's definitely some advantages and disadvantages. Mm-hmm. But if I were to grow to be that tall, I would definitely want to be a two guard because like okay. point guard has really like he has to control the floor at all times, yeah. you know everything, and it's more of like the shooting guard. It's more laid back, like a wing player. And I feel yeah. like it'll be a lot easier. But I think that because the doctors have told me, like, there's a high chance that I could reach to 6'6 six, six or in yeah. the 6'5 six, range, 6'4. Six, so they were saying, like, it's going to be great. But I don't feel like I would want to switch positions because if I was a 6'4, six, 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six, six point guard, I feel like that would be a big yeah. advantage. Because ben Simmons type play. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, Zach, you can keep going. All right, so – um. As you know, that that's pretty cool. I'm a shooting guard. Obviously, I'm not very good con- uh, compared to you. Um, yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, but um, so just another quick question: What is the best basketball advice you've ever received, and from who? Wow. Yeah, it's kind of deep. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> that's 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 a really really good question. Um. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is I, – I try to live by this every day, I remember. So every summer, me and my dad will go to L.A. to train, like, in this private gym with, like, a lot of NBA players and, like, celebrities and stuff or whatever. So it's, like, we all have this motto. It's, like, it's just work. Like, it's just work. That's all it is. Like, just get right to it. So, like, what what that means is, like, you really just have to put the work in to get better. And so when you get better – you gain confidence when you gain confidence a lot of coaches can see that you feel confident in your own skin and it's like that's probably the best advice i've ever heard from i think that's that's a great advice i I agree with that's just work yeah so as you know steph you're a very well-rounded player uh projected to be a very good player um so i've seen you play you got very good three point you're a very good three-point shooter you had very good handles very good court view but in um what of your what in your opinion would be your best ability on the court that's a that's a really good question, you know. Um I feel like right now I would probably say my ability to like pass and handle the ball, but because of like the coaches that I have right now, I feel like my greatest aspect aspect is gonna be my IQ because like I'm starting to learn the game more than just oh, score the ball, like get the pass like I'm starting to learn how to like really break down the game and like think two step two three steps ahead so Mm -hmm. I feel but I feel like right now probably ball handling and passing yeah I completely agree I've seen you play if we probably 1v1 you'd probably break my ankles like immediately it'd probably be very bad but um but yeah so um that's all the questions we have for you. Yeah, that's all the questions so we got much. for you, Seth. I want to I want to thank you so much for for coming on. Really, it's a it's a big it's yeah. a big honor to no be problem, to like no know problem. you and be your friend. You know. Yeah. Um. So make just sure. Wanna, just wanna yeah. Thank, make sure to make sure to follow him on Instagram. Yeah, we'll, we'll link all this stuff in the description. Yeah, of course, of course. Of also, course. make sure to subscribe to this channel. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of June. So <laughs> if you're seeing I'll, this, in your... I'll post the um the um this video and the channel on my Instagram again. All right, so yeah, thank you, Steph. No, All right, because I, I really want you guys to blow up. I really yeah, and I heard Ke- so Zach much. told me Kevin Durant follows you. That's insane, bro. Hope that's nuts. You yeah, that's like that's, that's like that's my that's like my like my yeah. how would I put it? Like my uncle, my dad. I didn't even know my dad. Yeah. I like met him a while ago, but I didn't even know him. and My dad are really close. So yeah, growing up, that KD like me, my dad. No, how do I put it? KD was my dad's favorite player growing up. So, like, he was yeah. able to watch him and stuff. So, I didn't um, even know that. So, it was like, wow. Like, yeah, yeah that's crazy. Really, really, like, Especially awesome. the player he is today. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. Make sure to subscribe. Check him out. We'll link all this stuff. 
and uh yeah uh we, we uh yeah we we love that you guys are watching the video if you made it to this far make sure to leave a like peace